What do you feel like is the biggest lesson that the team as a whole can take from Saturday versus UCA? Um, we just put ourselves in, a, you know, we put some um, adver adversity on ourselves. So um, just taking taking lessons from that, we just got to start faster against Tulsa. Um, that's our focus this week, just starting fast and uh, obviously finishing strong. But, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot to learn from, so we'll get better. Zach, it seemed like you guys, in, in, in a sense, kind of did start fast, just didn't finish the drives. What does it take to get those drives earlier in the end game into the end zone to, to build a lead? Uh, just details and execution. Uh, everybody just doing their assignment. You know, we talk about being 11 for 11. So, you know, 11 players on the field and 11 uh, players doing their job. So if we get that done, we'll be, we'll be just fine. Uh, with UCA, they did a really good job of bottling up the running game. Uh, so can you just kind of talk about what that group, your group, the running back group needs to do kind of to, to take the next step going to the Tulsa game? Uh, just trusting our, uh, trusting our run reach, trusting our O-line, and just uh, making sure our eyes are right, you know, um, just taking it day by day and, uh, you know, getting with those guys, seeing where runs are going to hit and seeing how the defense is going to play, play the run. Coach mentioned you guys had a, not a sense of urgency Monday. I mean, what's just been kind of the vibe been like in the locker room, facility, everything like that this last, you know, 24, 48 hours? Uh, we know this week we got another home game, so that's another opportunity to go 2-0. and Obviously, 1-0 and this week, but 2-0 and on the season. So we got to take full, of, uh, full advantage of that. And uh, it's a, you know, a new week, new opportunity, new blessings. So we just want to take it day by day and make sure we put in the work today. We got some, got some good work in yesterday. And uh, just make sure we're ready for Saturday. Forty career touchdowns. What's kind of the secret to finding the end zone like you do? And uh, after that, just your impressions of Tulsa's defense. Uh, I just say God is good, man. He's put me in those positions to uh, be able to have that many on my career. So I just give all thanks to him, and obviously thanks to the guys up front, um, my my old line, and just trusting those guys. But um, uh, looking at Tulsa, we're we're uh, diving into those guys, and we'll be ready. You know, they're they're different on defense, have multiple different fronts and things like that. But we'll be ready. And just with the, the big crowd on Saturday night, I think of over 21,000 fans were there. So can you just kind of talk about uh, the environment of the game and kind of just, since you've been here, you've been a part of a game with that type of vibe? Man, that was amazing. And uh, shout out to all the Arkansas State fans and shout out to uh, the whole A-State family because that, the atmosphere was electric. And uh, I was glad to get a win for, for that crowd. Hopefully we got the same turnout this week. Be ready. We talked a little bit about this last week, just the chance with two home games to to start the season strong. You know, obviously you got the first one. What would it mean now to get this one, you know, especially going back-to-back -back road games after this? Uh, it's, it's big. Like like I said, momentum, man. Momentum is everything, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll need that. And so, you know, just taking it, you know, starting with yesterday um, and then going into practice today, just making sure we hone in on the details and the execution. That way we can come out 2-0. What is what is the biggest lesson you think you guys as a team will take from Saturday night with UCA that will help benefit you moving forward? Uh, I'll honestly say that uh, starting fast, you know, keep starting fast, but finish strong. You know, that was an emphasis we put in on the off season, but you know, now we know it's even more critical to finish strong because somebody put 21 points in the fourth quarter on us, and that's just uh, unacceptable. And just having like you know, like consistency throughout the game, that's the biggest thing that we took away from that. And, uh, I got to hold more people accountable to the standard that we play at here. Justin, what's the biggest threat that you feel like Tulsa's offense poses? Honestly, they're uh, very fast. Uh, you know, I feel like they're going to attack the perimeter a little bit more on us. You know what I'm saying? UCA tried it, but uh, they're going to attack the perimeter. You know, very experienced group. You know, I got like a six-year running back there. You know, quarterback, you know, they have three different quarterbacks, so you know, you gotta know how, when one comes in the game, which one, what is his specialty? Does one like to run more? Are they playing in the run? Are they playing this man in the pass, you know? So that's, they're a very veteran group though, I would say. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta tackle well against them or they could, they could very well do what UCA did to us. Uh, just with a lot of new players on the defense this year, uh, Marvin, I think he kind of stood out on Saturday, a lot of the pass rushers as well. So can you just kind of talk about some of the new pieces on the defense and kind of how, you know, just getting that first game in and kind of how they, about how they gel with the group uh, collectively. Like I said, uh, I, I think I said this in camp. Uh, I love all the guys, you know, that came in, you know, especially the DNs, you know, I'm real close with them, We're close with the whole group for sure. You know, I'm glad they came in, you know, each one has their specialty. One's great at stopping the run, one's great at pass rushing. So they all have their, their specialty, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's been 
great addition. You know, Marv, you know, a veteran guy in the group, you know, it's been good to have those guys come in, you know, and step up and play the way we play. Because I like watching the film, we played great in the first half, you know. Like I said, just keeping that, like getting them acclimated, getting them, like, you know, how we play defense around here, like for a full four courts, you know what I'm saying? It's just all about finishing. But, you know, the, it's been some great additions, though. I really like this group, though. You know, we did some things Saturday that I've never seen here before, just, especially in the first half, just, you know, energy standpoint, physicality, you know, like, you know, having, you know, just playing, you know, playing hard, you know, that was a good, that was a good thing to see. What are just some other things you guys can build on? Like you mentioned from that first half, what are some other things you guys can build on for this week? Uh, honestly, you know, communicating through the whole game, you know, like, and keeping momentum. That's been the biggest thing with us. Like, we have momentum, you know, in the first half. And it's like, you know, we go through ups and downs, but just, you know, staying consistent, you know, because bad things happen in college football. You know, they get 85 scholarships too. So it's like, you know, things, bad things are going to happen, but how can you keep that momentum going? And that's one thing, you know, I'm going to challenge the guys for sure. I feel like coach is going to challenge us, the leadership, just can keeping that momentum because today it's going to be hard and practice is going to be hot. But how can we keep the momentum going on practice? So that's the biggest thing, and I'm ready to take that challenge. Does that first half show kind of a glimpse of what this defense is capable of doing? I mean, you shut them out, they never really got close to scoring in the first half. Absolutely. You know, that's the exciting thing. Like, you know, I was just left the game, you know, a little mad, you know, then I watched the film and it's like, you know, you see some great things, you know, on film. It's like, okay, this is who we can be. So when we don't, we don't MA, we don't, when we execute, when we do what we're supposed to do, we can play with anybody in the country. Now, the second half tells a whole different story. When we MA, when we're not where we're supposed to be, when we're not communicating, when we get a little tired, we let fatigue kick in. Now we're a whole different team. Now, now anybody can beat us. So. I want, I want that first half defense for the rest of this year. So that's been the emphasis that I've been spreading around the locker room. Like, this is who we can beat. And it's exciting. It's great. It's better than probably any A-State defense that's been, like, for a long time, at least since DeMar and them played. But now, how can we do that throughout four quarters and the rest of these 11 games, well, 12 games, because we're going to go to a bowl game. So how are we going to do that? Kind of going off that fatigue that you mentioned, uh, you know, with a team like Tulsa coming in, they played a very up-tempo style. So they play fast and just, like you said, you guys kind of wore down there in the second half a little bit. So kind of how do you, with only a week, how do you kind of make those adjustments to like, you know, is it just rotating guys or just what do you got to do for that to kind of prepare for their offense? Uh, honestly, uh, like I said, it starts in, you know, our emphasis this week, well, today is going to be stamina, you know, stamina and execution. So those are the things that we missed on the game and we're going to, we're going to, everybody's going to be challenged today on that, you know, it's, it's hot out there. So. We gonna have we have that in the back of our minds though the whole time, and I got me, Coach Jones, Char Willis, this trade, the whole leadership group just have to like emphasize that the whole day. But I feel like we're ready for that, like, cause mentally stamina, I feel like it was there as well, like during the game. It's just really execution. When you go back and look at the film, why are we not doing what we're supposed to do? The coach tells us like, why are we get in the game and do two totally different things than what we're coaching. That's really frustrating because everybody can sit here and say the coach then do this, the coach like you know. People blame the coaches, but it's like really us as players, we got to take some accountability for that as well. It's like, why is this not getting done? You know what I'm saying? So how can I train myself on Tuesday to simulate a game situation? So on Saturday, I perform instead of doing something totally different when the bullets get to flying. So that's really the emphasis. And I'm going to challenge a lot of people on that today.